Point Vicente Interpretive Center offers a variety of attractions. Today, John Clayton will take us behind the glass and give us a front row view of an almost 200-year-old whaleboat located on the ocean side of the property. It's time to sail away with John Clayton. Well, here we are at the Point Vincendi Interpretive Center on a beautiful Chamber of Commerce day, and I feel in this location that I'm getting ready to go and imitate Moby Dick. We're going to be talking with Robert Barry, who is an expert on this wonderful uh, vehicle, I guess, here. And Robert is an expert, so first of all, welcome. Tell me a little bit about this. Uh, is this a whaling boat? What is this? This is a whale boat. This is not a whaling ship. This is... Uh, this is what we call a Yankee whale boat. It, uh, it developed over time, approximately 1740, when the uh, whaling had to go out in deep into the Pacific. So they had to get a standard boat. It is, uh, the, the design hasn't changed in over 200 years, over 200 years. This is uh, uh, 28 foot long, six and a half foot wide. Okay, there is, there is five, uh, sailors and one captain. And these fearsome looking things here, are my, it's probably my British sense of humor, but when I first saw them, I think to myself, you know, in the old days, that's how they did dental surgery, but <laughs> obviously that is not what it is. But what are these? Well, these, these are harpoons, and this is uh, one of the uh, latest designs before they went into uh, shooting cannons off of the modern sh uh, ships. Before we go any further, you said the latest design. <laughs> I mean, what, what era, what year will we be talking about? About 1800, okay. this, this, the, uh, the toggle harpoon, and it uh, is designed to go in, and then this little pin breaks off, and it's, uh, it locks onto the blubber. But you would have to get this boat very close to the whale so that they could throw it, right? I mean, there was no sort of explosive charge that this came, it was purely manpower that threw it into the whale. Purely manpower. And the idea was to get right next to the whale and to insert it into the blubber, not to, uh, not to kill the whale or anything like that. It was just to attach it to the whale. And they just... So they did carry water for them to drink? They carry enough uh, supplies for a sailor to keep uh, between, keep themselves for f five to ten days. So, uh, what a fascinating trip this has been. I know we haven't actually gone to see in it. And if you want to see this for yourself, come on down to the Point Vincendi Interpretive Center. Come on down and experience this 100 plus year old boat that is absolutely fascinating. And we'll see you next time, maybe not on a whale boat, but certainly in another very interesting show. Take care and thanks so much for watching.